So we're not going to start with negatives, we'll start with 0, 1, 2, 3. Naught, that'll be negative naught, nothing, plus nothing, plus 2 is 2. So naught will be 2. I don't think I've got a negative x squared. I'm expecting it therefore to go like that. x is 1. This is minus, and then I've got to do x squared. It's a bid mass thing or bod mass. I do other things first which is the squaring before I do the, the subtraction. So I do the squaring bit first, or the multiplying. Um, 1 squared is 1, so that'll be negative 1, plus 3 ones, 3, plus 2, uh, that'll be 4. So 1 would be 4, 2, negative, 2 squared, 4, plus 3 twos, 6, plus 2, uh, that's 2, that'll also be, be 4. So 2 is also 4. 3, negative. 3 squared, 9. Plus 3 threes, 9. Plus 2, that equals 2. That's my symmetry bit going there. That's great. Let's try the negatives. Negative 1. So it's minus, because it's got that minus sign in front of it. There. And then I've got to do x squared. Where x is negative 1, so negative 1 times itself is 1. Plus three lots of negative one so that's plus negative three and then plus two at the end that's minus four plus two is negative two that's looking quite good x is negative two it's minus negative two squared is four plus three lots of negative two is plus negative six and then plus two it's negative ten plus two is minus eight so 2 is minus 8. That's pretty good. And then let's just draw a smooth curve through there. there in exam questions, it'll tell you how far you've got to go. Um, but here we are. And don't forget, it mustn't go straight across there. It has to go up beyond there. Because the maximum value would be a little bit higher than 4. The maximum value would actually, according to mine, would be, be about 5. About 4.5 would be the maximum value we've got here. And that's that one done.